the last glacial period and its associated glaciation is known in northern Europe and northern central Europe as the Vyxalian glaciation, Vyxalian ice age, Vistulian glaciation, Vyxal or, less commonly, the Vyxal glaciation, Vyxalian cold period, Vyxalian glacial, Vyxalian stage or, rarely, the Vyxalian complex. In the Alpine region it corresponds to the WURM glaciation. It was characterized by a large ice sheet that spread out from the Scandinavian mountains and extended as far as the east coast of Schleswig-Holstein, the march of Brandenburg and North Russia. In northern Europe it was the youngest of the glaciation phases of the Pleistocene Ice Age. The preceding warm period in this region was the Eemian interglacial. The last cold period began about 115,000 years ago and ended 11,700 years ago. Its end coincided with the end of the Pleistocene Epoch and start of the Holocene. Naming in other parts of the world, in other regions the glaciations of the last glacial period are given other names, for example that in the Alpine region is called the WURM glaciation, in the British Isles it is the Devensian glaciation and in North America, the Wisconsin glaciation. Sequence and subdivisions of the Vyxalian, about 115,000 years ago average temperatures dropped markedly and warmth-loving woodland species were displaced. This significant turning point in average temperatures marked the end of the Eemian interglacial and start of the Vyxalian glacial stage. It is divided into three sections, based on the temperature variation, the Vyxalian Earth Early glacial, the Vyxalian high glacial and the Vyxalian late glacial. During the Vyxalian there were frequent major variations in climate in the northern hemisphere, the so-called Dansgaard Oshdrevents. The Vyxal early glacial is in turn divided into four stages, Oderade interstadial. The pollen spectra indicate a boreal forest. It starts with a tree birch phase, which rapidly transitions to pine forest. Also apparent are larches and spruce as well as low numbers of alder, red stall stadial. In North Germany the pollen spectra indicate a grassy tundra followed later by shrubby tundra. The Brorup interstadial. Several profiles show a short period of cooling shortly after the start of the Brorup interstadial, but this does not appear in all profiles. This led some authors to distinguish the first warm period as the Armour's Fort interstadial. However, since then, this first warm period and cooling phase has been included in the Brorup interstadial. North and Central Europe was populated by birch and pine woods. The Brorup interstadial is identified with marine isotope stage 5C. The Herning stadial was the first cold phase in which northwestern Europe was largely treeless. It corresponds to marine isotope stage 5D. Dot. In the Vyxalian high glacial the ice sheet advanced into north Germany. In this period, however, several interstadials have been documented. Glaciation and ice sheet advances to North Germany. Dean Yekamp Interstadial. The pollen spectra indicates a shrubby tundra landscape. Penglo Interstadial. The pollen shows sedges and temporarily a high number of dwarf birches. Moa Shuford Interstadial. The pollen spectra show treeless tundra vegetation with a high proportion of sedges. Glind Interstadial. The pollen diagrams indicate a treeless, shrubby tundra. Abisdorf Stadial. In North Germany this period is characterized by pollen-free sands. Oeral Interstadial. The pollen diagrams point to a treeless, shrubby tundra in North Germany. Scharkholz Stadial. The first ice advance may have already reached the southern Baltic sea coast. At the type locality of Scharkholz pollen free, sands indicate a largely vegetation free landscape. Dot. 
the short Vyxalianate glacial was the period of slow warming after the Vyxalian high glacial. It was however again interrupted by some colder episodes. Younger Dryas. In this period the proportion of non-tree pollens climbed again, especially those of heliophytes. Alarod oscillation. This section is again dominated by birch tree pollens. Older Dryas. This cool period is characterized by a reduction in tree pollens. Bowling oscillation. The period begins with a rapid increase in tree birch pollens. Oldest Dryas. The cool period is characterized by a maximum number of non-tree pollens. Mand or Finterstadial. This interstadial is typified by a rise in the pollens of dwarf birches, willows, sandthorns, junipers and artemisia. Dot. Following the last of these cold periods, the younger Dryas, the Vyxalian glacial ended with an abrupt climb in temperature at around 9660 plus or minus 40 BC. This was the start of our present interglacial, the Holocene. In addition to the above subdivisions the depositions of the Vyxalian late glacial following the retreat of the ice sheet are divided into four stages. The Germanic glacial, the Danish glacial, the Gotland glacial and the Finnish glacial.